In this segment, I'm going to talk about wall groupings, wall portraits, canvas wraps, frames, and room view. This is really where the money is right here. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up an album here. So let's go to File, Open Album. And open an album here that I've already done a little bit of work on it. <clears throat> All right, well, here you can see I've got a beautiful family portrait here. These, like, these portraits are actually by Elizabeth Homan um, down in San Antonio. She does a beautiful job with her portraits here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and start out with working with rooms. Well, as you can see here, I've already got some rooms uh, configured. One of the nice things about the Pro version is that you can have an unlimited number of room galleries going all at one time. In the basic version, you can have just one. But the whole idea is in room view. We can, you can see how we can take and we can show how finished portraits with frames, mats, and everything are going to look in the rooms. You can use virtual rooms or we can use rooms, um, uh, actual client rooms. I'm going to show you both uh, as we're going through this particular segment. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to select a room here. This is one of the rooms here that's delivered right with Pro Select. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a portrait on the wall. So we're going to scroll through our image list and all I'm going to do is just drag it out onto the wall. I'm using my up and down arrow keys and you can see how it's just going through my different sizes that I have available. So we can adjust it to the correct size. Next we'll go to our frames and then I go down to the frame molding manufacturer I like and then I can just toggle, go up and down until I find a frame that I like. We can adjust and do finite adjustments on the wall. You can see this is a 40 by 60. It looks beautiful. It looks Really, it's a, it's a nice size for that size wall. But maybe our client wants to do a wall grouping as opposed to a single wall portrait. So we can do wall groupings very easily too. Again, all I'm doing is going to my image list. I'm just dragging over images one by one. We can just pull them over onto the uh, form and then we can adjust them. If I can go to my uh, plus and minus and I can size them, I can go to any particular size that I want. Uh, for the portraits there. Let's go ahead and we're going to add one more image here. Let's get one of the kids in here. All right, and I think I'd like to do this as a square image. So I'm going to right click there and I can go directly to any size. In this case we got that as a 12 by 12. Just draw a marquee around those two images. I'm going to go to my frames and then I can now just select the last frame I used and that's that same frame that we had on the wall portrait before. So we can just start pulling these around and into position. Notice how it's giving me guidelines and everything for alignment and, and things like that. So you can see how it just makes for a beautiful wall group. It's got lots of options. I'm just going to draw a marquee around it. I'm going to go to our shopping cart. And from here you can see each one of the individual images. So I can just click on any one of these images. It gives my price because I've asked that my pricing up in Pro Select. My frame formulas because I've set up frame framing formulas in there. And we can take and we can just add those individual items right to our invoice. So it makes it very simple. Well, I click on my ruler icon here and this goes into what's called Select Size View. Select Size View allows me to show it actual sizes. Well, if you look in the uh, lower right hand corner there's that little icon down there the um, warning sign there what the warning size is showing is that my screen isn't big enough to show that complete grouping at actual size. So it gives, gives you a notification. It'll show it as large as it can based on the screen that you would use. In our particular studio, we use a very, very large screen that almost covers a whole wall because we want to be able to show those wall groupings out there. All right, well, we're back. I click on the um, eyeball here. That's our show uh, rooms view, and that takes me back into my room view. So now that we're back into room view, we're going to go back to our thumbnail view and we're going to take a look at another room. So here's another living room situation. You can see I have a wall grouping, several images. These would be ones that probably canvas wraps, and then I have a framed matted image. I can move images around on the wall very, very easily. You can again, see my guidelines, how I can center them up on the walls. This makes it so the client can really, really get an idea. This is probably a $2,000 grouping. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to take and we're going to go to our... Um, working with layouts here. Now what we can do is on the ProSelect resources page there's a lot of free resources out there. Many of the labs have different wall groupings out there and these are several that I've downloaded from some of the labs. So all that we have to do to populate a wall grouping is click on it and start dragging the images in. It's going to, they're going to go in there and go whatever the size is that was set for the original template. Some of them are going to be scalable, some of them are not. Some will be set up for canvas wraps, some of them may or may not. Hit the crop tool to C key and we can take and we can move the images around or zoom them in and out. I'm just using the up and down arrow keys when I want to zoom. All right, that shows my complete layout. That's how quick and easy they are to populate. All right, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to go to a room that I've already populated the images. Now notice this is one that's set up for canvas wraps. Notice how close the images are. Um, but we decide, well, maybe we'd like to have something where we've got frames around it. So I can actually go through and I can I can modify the template. And what I did is I took and I used the template editor in ProSelect and actually 
uh, to go through and actually created a different um, template for it. So if we look right down here, um, there's my template that's would be for the wraps where they're close together, but here it is. I just use my template editor to go in and I just spread apart the images. Well, if once I created a new image, if I want to populate it with the same set of original images, all I had to do was drop and drag it on that template, and now everything pulled in the exact position, cropped exactly the same. And so now I have a set of images that are spread apart that I can actually use with frames. So let's go here and we're going to go to our room view. And let's scroll through here and we're going to find a room. Let's get something that looks good all right all right that looks nice and now what we do is all i have to do is drag that layout over onto the wall so you can see now it comes out all in one piece all of our images are pre-sized based on the layout there i want to go ahead and let's put a frame around that image we can go there we can just start clicking on the frame there's the frame we used in that last one uh, but you can see how now it's got rooms they don't look spread out anymore it looks like they all work together let's go ahead and drop a smaller frame on this we can show it as a smaller frame i can even show it as a matted with a frame so let's go down here i created some frame samples that actually have mats built right into them and so we can go ahead and we can show it all right well that works well we lie like that with the frames and the mats goes nice with the bookcase and the woodwork and everything in there uh, but sometimes you might decide well you know what the layout doesn't exactly work the way i want it to what i'm going to do is we're going to go up here to album and I'm going to go to convert wall grouping into layouts. Now what that's going to do is that breaks apart all of those um, images that were in that wall grouping and allows me to be able to take and randomly rearrange all of those images. Look how easy that is. I can just pull them around and now we just simply drop and drag any of the images. Now this template having to be set to fixed size, but if this was a variable size template, I could even adjust the individual size of the images. All right, that all looks good. Let's go ahead and we're going to go back to our thumbnail view and we're going to look at one more way where we can actually go through and use the images. Well, here we've got a dining room situation. You can see I've got a 15 by 30 that's got three images on this one side. I'd like to be able to take and utilize a small area on the right for another layout. So what I want to do is we've got all the kids on the, on the left side. I want to use just uh, the parents on the right. So let's go back to our layouts here. And this is layouts here that I'm showing you. are all right included with ProSelect. And I'm going to go back and we're going to find that same template that I used on the kids. All right, there it is right here. Now I'm going to right click and go to Edit Template. This is our template editor in ProSelect, and this is how easy it is to make changes. So we're going to bring up this template, go ahead and going to rotate that into a vertical position. You see I've got three open. I'm going to click on the bottom one, trash it, delete it. I'm just going to drag the middle opening down a little bit larger. Boom, save changes, close. Now I created a whole another template there that's different. All I have to do is drag the images into it, hit my... C key for the crop tool, up and down, move the images around and get them the way that I want them. Now that I've got them in position, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take and I'm going to apply my style, which in this case is going to be a double mat. And now we go back to our room view, go to our image list, click on our layouts. Then from there, what we can do is we're just going to drag that right onto position on the wall. And we go ahead and tap the frame there, and that gives me my last frame. So you can see how easy it is to do this, but notice how I was able to customize that right in front of the client. The clients actually love that, that it works so, so easily and so fast. You're working as a designer for them uh, right in your sales or your presentation room. Works beautifully. All right, we're going to go ahead and back to our working with images. And now what I want to do is I want to add an image. I want to work with clients' rooms if I can do that. Now, everybody's got a professional camera, uh, correct? So what we do, they've got, they've got one of these, right? So what I want to do is I want to have them take a photograph of their, their room. And they can put an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper on the wall. They could put a, um, I use a sticker is what I'm actually using here. And so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to bring, I want to bring that into ProSelect. So I already um, offloaded that to my system. Just have the client email it to you. And so we're going to go to album and we're going to go to add a single image. Now from here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and it brings up um, our selected image file and so we're going to go through and we're going to find that file. So we've got a folder here for my client images and it's adding that image into ProSelect. You can see it just appears at the bottom of my image list. Well, what we want to do is we need to convert that to a room. So we're going to go to resources, set up rooms. From there I'm going to go to my album rooms and I'm going to click add. That brings up my room dialog there and where I can take and I can start making the adjustments. Now you can see my sticker on there. That's a 4 by 12 inch sticker. I'm going to move my ruler up to the sticker because that's I know the size of it. I bring out the ruler there and I'm going to type in 12 inches. The double squares give me my target point in the wall. 
go ahead and click Save Changes and Close. Now I'm calibrated. We'll go to our Working with Rooms thumbnail view, and we're going to go to Album Rooms. There it is right there. So now you can see we've got that uh, room view. Everything is calibrated. It's ready to go. Drag an image out. Again, I could use the up and down arrow keys to size that image on the wall. Want to put a frame around it? We can go ahead and we can just select a frame, look at the different options for the frames. You can see that's a relatively small area and how beautiful it looks there. If I was working with a client, if I was working with a, the client and they were just telling me about the room, they'd probably insist that you know an 11 by 14 would barely fit on that wall, but you can see that's a 2430. So you can see the power of room view and how, how well this all comes together uh, and makes it easy to be able to sell and easy to make more money with ProSelect.